After going over the story of Jonah, I think we can all relate to those times that we have attempted to run away from God, or even hope that we were invisible to him while we were deep in our sin. The reality is that it's impossible to run away from God, even in the belly of a fish. And that's because he loves us and he cares for us. Not only did he love a resentful and cowardly Israelite who actually believed that he could run away from an all-present God, but he was also willing to forgive the wickedness of the city of Nineveh. But what exactly are, why are we running from God? Maybe we're all guilty at times of feeling lonely, wordless or unloved. Maybe the people in our lives have let us down, abandoned us, or even hurt us. So we may feel that we have no value but God says that you do. Romans 5.8 says, God shows his love for us that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Now Christ died on the cross for our sins and he rose again, conquering death that was due for our transgressions. You see, he was a perfect man. And he died for our sins. He, God loved you so much and he found you so valuable, so worthy, that so long as you believe in the saving death of his son, that though your sins may be as scarlet, they should also be made as white as snow. Isaiah 118. I would like to ask you something today. Does something feel incomplete in your life? Do you feel a hole that hasn't been being filled by anything in, that this world has to offer? That feeling is actually God calling out to you. If you would uh, please turn in your Bibles with me to Romans chapter 5 verses 1 through 6. I would like to share that with you. It says, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace, in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance character and character hope. Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us even though we do not deserve it. Thank you for giving us your one and only son to die on the cross for our sins. Father, I ask that you speak to the people in this room today. Convict them of their sins and move in their hearts so that they may restore a proper relationship with you. So that they may experience your peace. In Jesus' name, amen. At this time, if you feel that God's Spirit is speaking to your heart, I'm going to ask you to come forward. Just come to the front and we will pray with you. If you're tired of feeling empty, lonely, and you want to experience God's love and his peace, just come forward to the altar right now so that we can pray for you. If you, spill, if you feel the spirit moving in your heart, but you're too afraid to come up front, just stand where you are. Just stand where you are and repeat this prayer with me now. Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I want to ask for your forgiveness. I believe that you died for my sins and you rose again. 
I want to turn away from my sins today and invite you into my life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. In your holy name, amen. For those of you that have made a decision today or want to, please join us after the service in the prayer room so that we can pray with you and provide you with some some more information. There are some great resources to learn how to allow the Spirit to refine your life and to help you find peace from the sin that you struggle with. Titus 3, 6 says, God poured out the Holy Spirit abundantly on us through Jesus Christ, our Savior. All of you are invited, and the time is now. Tomorrow is not promised, and you can make a decision today. May God bless you all.